please. I'm uh, Hevok. Uh, I'm the organizer of a party in Holland called Outline. And I'm here today to show you a couple of recent Atari demos. Um, not so much the technically most advanced, but just some nice examples that probably, uh, hopefully, uh, will catch your attention and appreciation of the folks over here. Um, I'm going to start with uh, a very old platform, Atari 2600. You probably know it from uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, then I'll move on to Atari ST, and finally I'll move on to Atari Falcon uh, and some accelerated demos. Uh, I have about half an hour, so unfortunately I can't show all the demos I would like to show, but I've tried to make a nice selection. Uh, let's start with uh, an Atari 2600 demo. As you might know, Atari 2600 is uh, a 1970s machine uh, with about 256 bytes of RAM. Uh, no video chip, so everything is done on the processor. There's some Finnish guys who made a nice demo with it, which I'm going to show you now. Yeah, it was black because we flipped. Tell me when you think, it, do you have it plugged in? Yeah, I do. Alright. Um, not that short. Let me just mute this in PFL for a second. Uh, play something that you assume should have sound? That's, okay, that's... Any way you can turn the volume up on your end? Not like that. The, 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 uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the, the laptop sound is... Oh, uh, there we go. That's, that's better. Yeah. Very low. Yeah, very low. But... Uh, Ooh. All right, let's. Uh... Whoa, whoa! Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do apologize for that. I don't worry. Um. All right, let's. Uh, you, you need to go through this. To yeah. tell me what that. Then it's still noisy, but there the noisy. Okay. Oh wow. That's obscenely noisy. Uh, let, let, let me, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to play the grounds again. Hold on a second. <laughs> Tell me how. Oh, I need to uh, do that. Uh, you playing something? Oh dear, you are. Wow, that's quiet. Um, tell me if you hear anything this way. Yeah, yeah. Does it sound like not all? No, no, no audio at all. Oh, that's just. Uh, you sure that's plugged into the headphone jack? And not like the line out? Outline oh wow! Yeah, that's uh, that's that's the right track to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong hole. 
<laughs> Oops. Yeah. All right. So uh, t tell me, uh, tell me if I when that's good for you. Yeah. Well, up it. I keep that playing havoc. Say, say when it play. Well, I hear nothing. Right. Is there some button you oh, forgot shit. to press? Yeah, yeah, I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, okay. sorry. <laughs> say when. Oh. There we go. That's that's easier. That's noise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There we go.
Okay. Well, I thought you were going to talk about the water. It is, but it's really <laughs> okay, so that was an Atari 2600 demo uh, released in 2007 by Wema and PWP from Finland. Um, there's quite a lot of uh, 2600 demos these days compared to uh, like 10, 15 years ago. It's actually kind of an old platform that has been discovered recently by a lot of people, and you have like five or six uh, active groups working on it, which may not sound like a lot, but compared to the zero we had before, it's not too bad, I think, I guess. Then um, I'm going to move on to an Atari ST demo. Uh, Atari ST, as you might know, is a platform released in 1985. Uh, it's a bit comparable to an Amiga, uh, 8 megahertz, 68K processor, um, and basically very, very basic sound chip and uh, uh, video hardware. So you have 16 colors out of 512 standard and a free channel PSG which is the same one as you also have in Vectrex, MSX, uh, we have lots of machines from the 80s. Um, okay, I'm going to start an Atari ST demo now.
unfortunately it seems that uh, the effect that was in the middle the, where you see the flashing green dots didn't really work as it was supposed to. It did work at the hotel, but I suppose that's how these things go. So next up, uh, I'm going to show you an Atari Falcon demo. Atari Falcon was uh, a machine released in 1992, 1993 by Atari. It has a 60 MHz, 68030 processor, uh, 32 MHz DSP. Uh, the DSP is actually not used in this demo except for playing music, which is a shame, but still a very nice demo, I think. Um, yeah, just just a quick note. Uh, that might be a refresh rate issue. You might want to check to see if your refresh rate is set to like 30 or something like that. Or you could just go. <laughs> well, uh, do we have the time to run it again? Probably not. Right. <laughs> <That's good. laughs>
Um, the rest of the demo is just a credit card to looping and hashing, so you can uh, go and show it out.
Okay, so that was still cut by the Black Lotus, and uh, Sifoid just pointed out to me uh, the reason why it sucks showing demo from a platform uh, that where you have people in the hall who know more about it than you do yourself. <laughs> it wasn't the winner of Assembly, it was actually the winner of Breakpoint in 2004. Sorry about that mistake, but it's an Amiga thing, so <laughs> why would I? <laughs> Um, well, that was the regular schedule I had planned to show you. I don't know how much time we have left. I have material for hours. So, uh, a couple of minutes, or are there some questions, maybe? No, we're we're already behind. So yeah. Okay. So one more, or uh, we're already behind. Line. So probably better to move on. Just move on. No, move, move, move along to the next one, just because we're already right. behind. Not that we can't show more later. Okay, yeah. <laughs> can do. Okay, well, uh, that was uh, yeah, the end of the show. Uh, if you have any questions that which you are afraid to ask in public, but would like to ask privately, just uh, ask me. I'm walking around all evening, so uh, feel free to ask. And thank you for your attention.